In this lecture, I will explain about shaded pole induction motor. How does a shaded pole motor works? Shaded pole induction motor is a self-started single phase induction motor. Self-started means it has not requirement of any external mean to start the motor. In shaded pole motor, one side of a stator pole remains shaded by copper ring. That is also called as shaded ring. That's why this type of motor is known as shaded pole induction motor. In this motor, copper ring act as a secondary winding. This type of motor rotates only in one particular direction. Reverse movement is not possible in this type of motor. Shaded pole motor can consist with two or four poles. In this lecture, I will consider two pole motor for easy explanation. Shaded pole motor consists with two main parts that is a stator and rotor. A stator. A stator is the stationary part of the motor. In this motor, we provide salient pole stator. Salient means the pole of a stator will project it towards the rotor. One side of a stator pole remains shaded by shading coil or copper coil. The stator are laminated. Lamination means a stator consists with multiple layers to reduce the electrical losses like eddy current loss. And it is made up of silicon steel to increase the permeability of the magnetic path. The main winding is placed at the pole of a stator that behave like primary winding. And at shaded portion, copper ring that behave like secondary winding. For main winding, we use copper material because copper has high conducting properties. Rotor. Rotor is the rotating part of the motor. It is also made up of high permeability material and remain laminated to reduce the electrical losses like AD current loss. In this motor, we provide cage type rotor or a squirrel cage type rotor that look like this. The rotor bar remain connected to end ring or we can say rotor bar short circuited with the end ring. The bars of the rotor are askewed at an angle 60 degree. Askewed means the bar are not linear, it remain inclined at some angle. We provide a skewed bar for better starting torque. Construction of the motor is very simple because it has not any complicated parts like commutator, brushes, collector rings, etc. So we can say its construction is simple. First of all, we give single phase AC supply to the stator where main winding is placed. So due to AC current in main winding, alternating magnetic flux produces that we consider as a main flux. And when main flux cuts the copper ring at shaded portion of the stator pole, then also an EMF induces in the copper ring according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. According to that law, whenever varying magnetic flux cuts the stationary conductor, then EMF induces in the conductor. That's why here EMF is inducing in the copper ring and current circulated because copper ring remains short circuited. Here it is rounded shape so it is completing the circuit. So due to current in the copper ring, another magnetic flux produces around the copper ring that we consider as a shaded flux. Now we have two fluxes that is main flux and shaded flux. Suppose main flux is phi m and shaded flux is the phi s where phi s will oppose the phi m from Lange law. When both magnetic flux opposes to each other then both magnetic field displaced by some angle that will less than 90 degree. But due to phase displacement a rotating magnetic field produces in the gap of a stator and rotor. So due to that rotating magnetic field, torque acts on the rotor in tangential direction and rotor starts to rotate in the direction of shaded portion. Here motor pole plays a very important role because pole of the motor is inversely proportional to the speed. Mean 
when number of pole will be less then a speed of motor will high and pole of motor will more then a speed of motor will be less there are many applications of sided pole induction motor that type of load which require very less starting torque at that place we use sided pole motor sided pole motor is used in the table fan it is used in exhaust fan it is used in hair dryer sided pole motor is used in fan refrigeration and air conditioning equipments it is used in electronic equipments etc there are many advantages of sided pole induction motor sided pole induction motor has simple construction it has not requirement of capacitor or centrifugal switch sided pole motor has long life it takes very less current in a starting and it does not cause a voltage drop across the nearest feeder it has not requirement of proper maintenance it is maintenance free motor it has not requirement of any a special type of a starting method it is a self started motor there are some disadvantages like sided pole motor is not suitable for high starting torque because it has low starting torque so that type of application where we have requirement of high torque at that place we can not use sided pole motor sided pole motor cannot rotate in reverse direction so it is also a disadvantage it provide poor power factor at a starting sided pole motor has low efficiency here i will explain the basic of ad current flows whenever bearing magnetic flux cuts the stationary conductor then self emf induces in that conductor and current circulates in the conductor that current is known as ad current when there is no any useful work of that current in the circuit then ad current wastes in the form of heat that we consider as a loss that is known as ad current loss and to reduce the ad current loss we provide lamination in the core of electrical machine ad current loss is expressed by pe is equal to ke b square m f square t square b where p is the ad current loss in watt bm is the maximum flux density f is the frequency of supply t is the thickness of lamination b is the volume of material and k is the ad current constant i hope this lecture will be helpful for you for watching the video with easy explanation subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for regular updates